KO Artist Sports right here with Brandon Bam Bam Rios here wrapping up the press conference man with uh, Danny Garcia. First, uh, just kind of quickly, we, we, we talked about uh, kind of Angel and, and him possibly talking about, you know, about Robert, about you or anything like that. Were you kind of disappointed he wasn't here? Did you kind of want that back and forth a little bit? Nah, you know, uh, I'm actually, I'm glad he wasn't here. <laughs> None of that, but not because that, but like I said, I fell under the weather. Okay. I've been sick, so I'm barely getting over the sickness. And, you know, I'm glad he wasn't here, so. But at the end of the day, I have, I have Donald and Robert and do what they got to do, you know, so <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, so it is what it is. If he was there, it's cool. If he wasn't, it's was cool. But fortunately, he wasn't, so it's, I think this is all good. It was uh, kind of interesting to me, the setup, because normally the main event fighters kind of separated by the podium, yeah. and when you go to sit down, you're like sitting right next to them. What kind of, what were your thoughts when that happened, and just kind of it sitting was, there, and then it was awkward a little bit, and then yeah. you just kind of introduced yourself, like what, what was, uh, describe to me that moment. It was weird, because uh, we used to go to the podium, and then we talked, right. but we was talking like right next to each other, <laughs> and he, like he couldn't say shit, like he couldn't really talk shit, I couldn't really talk shit, because if we talk shit, we can easily fight each other right, right. there. Yeah. So it was, it was crazy, but. Uh, there's nothing bad for me to say, you know, I'm not gonna talk shit about something that there's nothing to talk shit about uh, But it, it was cool man. First time meeting Danny Garcia was pretty cool I mean you guys seem to have a pretty good kind of joking relationship I mean, I, I think most people probably kind of have that with you when you joke around with them and stuff like that But it, is it more motivating with you when someone does kind of talk trash? Like are you kind of hoping maybe Angel says something he said like does that help at all? Like does that motivate more in the in the, the gym kind of preparing for a fight? No, not really. Uh, not really. It just happens. Is people talk shit sometimes, and I talk shit back. Yeah. But it doesn't really doesn't really mean nothing. It's just like if they want to talk shit, I'm gonna talk shit. <laughs> right. You say something foul, I'm gonna say something foul. So, but it doesn't really heat up anything. It just is what it is. You you said that you're not gonna be dancing like like Keith had to do against uh, against yeah. uh, Danny. Obviously, that's not your style at all. But do you feel that Danny might kind of maybe be on his shoes that night, being that you know he's maybe kind of more considered the boxer in this in this equation? Do you feel that he might kind of take the Keith Thurman approach with you? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but I don't see him doing very well if he tries to do that. He's not a really mover, you know. He's uh, he's more of a counter puncher, you know what I mean? Uh, he's more of a counter puncher boxer. I'm, I'm more of a brawler puncher, and I come to fight. But a lot of people don't give me a lot of give, people don't give me credit for my defense when I'm on the inside. But at the end of the day, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. As long as he comes to fight, and I come to fight. That's where we're going to give the fans a great show. Speaking of your defense, man, how do you how do you avoid the, the obviously his biggest weapon is his big left hook. You know, he swings it swings it hard, it lands hard, lands quick. Speaking of your defense, how do you kind of avoid that? Uh, practicing. That's what we're doing. We're practicing. Uh, we're practicing very hard for it. We're practicing very hard and uh, all the counter punch and everything, we're practicing. I, I just overheard, uh, supposedly he said he was going to like give you a KO in the fourth round, or get KO you in the fourth round. That's what I heard too right now. Right, yeah, some, that, that's, what, that's when I heard it. <laughs> what, does that extra motivating at all? Are you kind of like, you know... It don't bother me at all. You know what I mean? People are going to predict whatever they're going to predict. But at the end of the day, if he's only training for four rounds, that's his problem. It's good for you, right? Uh, I'm training, I'm training. I'm training for fucking 18 rounds. So uh, I don't really care what he predicts. He can predict all he wants to. Uh, it don't bother me. Uh, we're just ready for whatever comes that day, for, uh, 17th. Uh, I know he'll be ready, I'll be ready, and that's all we can predict. What's your prediction for the fight, brother? Uh, coming out victorious. That's, that's, it's good to hear it, brother. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Get well. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.